Yo, what's up guys, how you doing? <clears throat> Yo, <clears throat> what's going on guys? How is everybody in the chat this evening? How are you guys doing today? Yo, 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 what's going on? How's your nights going? And your day, night, day, whatever, whatever time it might be, wherever you fucking live. What's up guys? Today I'm very, very excited to uh, announce that Wednesday we are going to Canada with Gary. We just uh, got the itinerary together. I talked to Gary today and uh, yeah, Wednesday is going to be the day we head over there. So that's going to be real, real fun. I'm excited for that. So if anybody who's been uh, wanting me to get the fuck out of the house and travel and like do shit, well, looks like we're doing it. That's the day. And uh, depending on how it goes when uh, we fly over there, we could extend it. Like it could be a long, long day. I don't really know when, or I don't really know uh, how long we're going to be over there for and traveling for, but like, I don't know. Fuck it. If get, like Gary's a cool ass dude and... Fuck it, dude. Like, I don't care. Like, I'll, if it's going well, we can stay traveling for a little bit. I don't really care, dude. Um, I've been pretty bored over here, so, you know, it's all good. Yeah, 24-7 uh, streams when we travel, so that's uh, going to be exciting for anybody that has been pissed off that I have not been streaming for very long or very, you know, like very much lately, so that's going to be good shit. Um, we're actually, we decided to go to Vancouver instead of uh, Quebec and all those places for now because uh, Vancouver had the cheapest flight. So we're going to fly over to Vancouver if it goes well. Then we're going to rent a car and we're going to drive over to Toronto and then Quebec and all these other fucking places. But Vancouver is going to be the, uh, you know, the first place we go to see if we, you know, to see if it's good, to see if we like it, to see if it's, you know, something worth doing over and over. So now this is how we're going to structure the 24-7 streams. Um, because I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little different than what, how we normally do it. Um, so I don't want to just overshadow Gary's stream completely. That would just be fucking bullshit and that's retarded. Um, or I guess we would fly over to Toronto. I don't know how long we drive Vancouver to Toronto. It's probably very far. Um, so what we would do is I would stream probably 12 hours. Then Gary turns on his stream. I host him. He streams 12 hours. He hosts me after 12 hours and I turn my shit back on and Every 12 hours, we just alternate between streams. I think that's uh, how we're going to do it. But a stream will be on, you know, the entire time nonetheless. Because obviously, I don't want him to just get nothing out of this. That would be retarded. Um, and, I, you know, in case you're wondering why I don't want to do this alone. I like Gary, and I want a travel buddy. Having a travel buddy just makes it a hell of a lot more fun. Traveling by yourself kind of sucks. Like, it's not fun to travel by yourself. It's very... I don't know. It's like, like it's fun, but it's it's it gets lonely, you know. It gets like fucking just not uh, great. So I don't really know. Yo, look at this. Look at this shit. Fucking, I've been eating a hell of a lot healthier. This has been my diet right here. Just fucking fruit up the ass, dude, completely. And <laughs> along with that, we got fruit up the ass, and then we got some. Uh, some good old fashioned SpaghettiOs. Dude, these things are fucking good. I don't really give a shit. They're not healthy, but they're good as fuck. So that's what my diet's been like. It's been good. I mean, a lot of water, a lot of bottled water, not really drinking anything else except for strictly bottles of water. So that's been really, really good. And if you're wondering why I got crashed on TV, because I was watching E3 and uh, I'm waiting for the, the Sony, you know, part where they talk about all the new PlayStation games. So, you know. That's what I was, that's what I've been fucking doing all day, just looking at E3 shit. But I'm not really excited at anything that has been announced thus far. I'm not going to lie, dude, but I don't know. It is what it is. That's the one thing about uh, not being in LA that I kind of don't like. I usually go to E3 every year, so it kind of sucks. No Sony E3. What do you mean? Doesn't the PlayStation have something to announce? What do you mean? I thought... Why would, why would they not talk about anything with PlayStation at E3? Why the fuck not? All right, well, whatever. The Xbox is shit. Nintendo, okay. You know, everyone likes fucking Nintendo. Uh, but Xbox is dog shit. Who the fuck wants to watch Xbox shit? Um, and everything else is just like I don't really care about. So, you know, fuck it, dude. Um, they backed out. Well, then that's fine, whatever. But, yeah, no, that's going to be exciting. So, Wednesday is going to be the day. So, you know, today I uh, actually rescheduled my therapy for today instead of Thursday since I'm not going to be here on Thursday. So I'll talk about some stuff with the therapist today. 
pretty interesting shit. Not really much. About my childhood and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm a fucking crazy motherfucker is what she was implying. I mean, not really, but, you know, that's kind of what I was implying to myself towards her. But, uh, yo, let me cook something real quick. I'm fucking hungry as shit. Um, tomorrow is just going to be like whatever, you know, today we're just chilling. Tomorrow we're just going to be like doing whatever the fuck. And then Wednesday, sh- trouble time. I might I talk to some of my people and... I might want to reopen icebeastlion.com with me and Gary on it uh, for the traveling portion. And we might add some like other little things to it as well, which could make it interesting. But I don't really know yet because I, I don't really know the process behind that. And I kind of owe Phineas some money. I think I owe him like 50 bucks for uh, the Google Cloud Services, which, you know, obviously I'll just pay him. But I don't know if he's just annoyed at me because I have not paid that yet because I've been motherfucking doing other shit. But I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, yo, for the first time ever, we have plates, we have fucking dishes, we have bowls. Dude, I love it. I love living with a girlfriend, dude. That's good. She keeps, she keeps this place fucking like spick and span. And she keeps it, you know, the bowls and plates. And they're like, I couldn't just get away with paper plates and paper fucking whatever, dude, because she would, she would get fucking pissed at me. And she doesn't want to be, you know, like fucking, uh, you know, welfare ended up over here. So we got real plates and shit, which is uh, interesting because I've never actually had actual plates before. Because usually, I, when I first moved out of my parents' house, I actually did buy plates and bowls and stuff. Wifey material <laughs> is what I'm saying. Um, I don't know about, let's not talk about marriage dog V5, but, or BSM. Um, yeah, when I first moved out of my parents' house, I did get plates and bowls and stuff, but. It ended up just not getting washed, and I ended up just fucking throwing all that shit out. Like, I literally threw out paper or, uh, you know, glass bowls and shit, because I didn't, didn't, I didn't want to clean them. Like, fuck that shit. And, like, I mean, I could clean them, you know, dishwashers everywhere, but I'm just a lazy shit, so what the fuck can I say? Um, here, I think I've done the dishes, like, twice, and then, you know, she helps me out with, the, with that shit while I do nothing all day. So, buy groceries and learn to cook. Bro, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can't, hold up, m- m- homie, can't you see? This is, like, what you mean, learn to cook? I'm cooking right now. What are you talking about? We got SpaghettiOs? Hold up. We got SpaghettiOs. We got motherfucking, uh, we got oatmeal right there, okay? We got some fucking, we got Gushers. Like, what are you talking about? Popcorn, ramen, like, what are you saying? And then, I mean, if you were talking about real-ass food, I mean, hey, actually, hold up. You're talking about real-ass food? I got some rigatoni right there. I make fucking... I mean pasta, sort of, kind of, sometimes, not really, but, and I want to see what, what the fuck is in here, we got some big ass pickles, which I fucking love eating that shit, we got Takis, of course, we got fucking cheese, and uh, just some more fruit, a lot of fruit, hella fruit, just, that's my diet, been. <laughs> my diet's been strictly fruit, and uh, mostly water, sometimes I drink that shit, but not really, just, I'm trying to stay healthy, so, yeah, that's pretty nice, uh, and then I cook, or she cooks eggs in the morning sometimes, so, you know, that's, uh, I've been working on that shit pretty good. What are Takis in the fridge? Dude, fucking, what do you mean? Because I don't want that shit to get warm. Are you guys telling me that you eat your fucking chips hot as fuck? Dude, have you ever had cold chips before? That shit tastes so fucking good. Like, I don't really know how else to explain it. Well, and mostly it's, uh, it's because if you put that shit not in the fridge, it's going to get stale really quick. If you keep it in the fridge, it's not going to get stale uh, for a while at least. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for right now. Well, that's kind of that's kind of what I like. So uh, let me see. Fucking Gary touched me. All right, thank you, dude. Gary did not do such a thing. Oh, I fucking forgot to turn it on the TTS. Hold up. Let me see. Damn, your ice look pantry. You need to <laughs> empty. You need to go shopping. I mean, I don't really know what to buy though. My thoughts on EBZ Con last night. Uh, I mean, I didn't really watch much but i did see ebz perform you know that's really interesting that's nice you know i hope y'all voted for him on the website um but i don't know it seemed like it was good everyone had a little reunion that's cool that's something i uh you know it felt it felt good just watching that shit everyone just like came together but um yeah i don't really know what to buy in terms of food i mean like what 10 more spaghettios like i don't fucking cook i'm a lazy shit like homie why like you don't need to cook. Okay, this is my food. We got mac and cheese, Hot Pockets, Eggos, pot, you know, pot pies, fucking ice cream. Like, what the fuck else? Like, why would I cook? What the fuck else do I need? You know what I mean? I don't need to cook, dude. I mean, I know how to cook, but I don't need to fucking cook, dude. 
That was weird. Why the fuck did the stream cut out right there? That was interesting. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, so that's fucking weird. Oh, by the way, yo, check this. I don't know if it's just me, but do y'all ever keep your uh, do y'all keep your microwave disgusting like me? Because I, I, like this shit is like it's cheese, like old ass cheese that's like stuck to the microwave, dude. Like I don't want it to get like that, but I don't know why. Like I put food in and I, I open the microwave and there's just there's it's fucking food everywhere, dude. It's splatters and shit. I don't really know why. Uh, I'm assuming it's the microwaves that you know the food gets hot and it like boils and shit and like pfft, like makes fucking you know blastoise. But I don't really know and it's fucking disgusting and clean that shit is not my thing because it smells like shit in the microwave. But you know it makes me kind of not want to throw food in there. But uh, fuck it, dude. So uh, Kimberly actually told me that if I put the if I put the paper towel on the food before I put the thing in the microwave it won't get dirty so i probably should clean this though i need to stop being a lazy fuck she didn't want to clean it because it's like that's my mess and she's like you know why the fuck is she in my mess what am i hold on did this shit is it back on chat or is this shit just scuffed Yeah, it is good. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I should uh, fill up my, my stuff. But, I mean, what do you guys fill your fucking refrigerators with and pantries with and shit? Because, <laughs> I mean, I think as an early 20-year-old, this is a pretty, I think it's a pretty normal setup. I mean, who the fuck cooks, like, like I'm not going to have, like, fucking raw meat and, like, all this shit. Because I know I'm not going to cook it. Like, why? What, like, why? Like, we usually either go out to eat, or we just fucking cook SpaghettiOs, you know what I mean? Or microwave shit. So, now, with the processed food, I know this shit is not great for me, but typically, I like I said, I eat a lot of fruit, and I eat a lot of things like this, which actually, I'm going to take out a lemon. I'm going to eat this shit, because this is good for you. If you guys don't know, lemons have the most amount of vitamin C, and vitamin C keeps from getting sick. And vitamin C keeps everything, like, all good, homie. Yeah, hold up, what the fuck is this? Amber Alert. Fuck off, I'm sorry. I don't know. I've not, I've not seen any kids today. <clears throat> this shit keeps you energized as well. Check this shit. So, let me see. Where am I cutting more of that? One second. Right, right. Use a cutting board. I don't want to break this shit. Hey, I actually uh, heard word from Volvosad today. So... And I was like, uh, you know, how you doing? And, you know, blah, 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 and all this different stuff. So he said he, uh, you know, he's doing pretty good. And uh, I don't know. I might be seeing him soon. I don't really know when, but since I'm going to Canada and everything. But I might be seeing him soon, which could be, uh, which be, which be fun because I've been, you know, missing him, missing his ass. I've been missing him, uh, <laughs> hanging out with people. I hang out with Kimberly, but, you know, it's a little different. Hanging out with a friend and hanging out with your girlfriend, so. Get plastic thing that covers it and it makes good. Uh, yeah. For the microwave? Yeah, I probably should. I mean, I just put the fucking paper towel. Because then I can just take it out without having to pop it out and, like, burn my hand and be all hot shit, so. That's what I do, but thank you, uh, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Let me see. So, look at this. People might say lemons are a little bit too sour, but they're just pussies. I don't know what to say. Mm. I just realized I have a cut in my lip and that shit fucking burns right there. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that shit fucking burns. All right, let's not eat the other slice of that lemon. It's good. It's not even that sour, but... That shit just fucking burn my lip, dude. I do not like that. All right, anyways. Hit this. So now, I've been looking up stuff to do in Vancouver. Since, like I said, we're starting there. And, uh, I don't really know, like, there's not, I don't know, I don't really know what to do over there. I mean, we're just gonna pretty much wing it when we get over there, but 
it seems to be like there's a lot of nature you know it seems like nature stuff is the, the big stuff to do over there so I guess that's what I'm gonna focus on you know there's some city stuff and you know normal fucking uh, uh, like fuck you know like normal shit normal city bullshit but you know I don't want to just do that so I just play Crash, dude. I will uh, <laughs> when when uh, Crash Nitro Field comes out. I'm gonna play the fuck out of that because I actually speed run uh, Crash Team Racing a long time ago. So hey, when that game comes out, I'm gonna roast everyone on fucking multiplayer on that shit with the, with the uh, online. So it's nice. Damn, that's a nice place. Yeah, this is a, this is a nice place. I haven't shown it to anybody yet. Stop. I haven't shown it to anybody yet, but. Uh, I think I've had Stevie G come over to my house and Shy. Those are the Dude, only... a lemon thing. What lemon thing, homie? What the fuck are you talking about? Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. What the fuck is this? Yeah, not many people have seen my uh, my house, dude. I've been keeping that shit low key, so. But it is a nice place. This is uh, you guys see the kitchen here, so it is uh, interesting. Let me see one arm thing song. I don't know what the fuck that is, but thank you for some reason. Yeah, no, listen, the media is not working, dude. So don't uh, don't worry about that. Stop. Stop with the fucking barking. I don't know how to stop, stop him from the fucking barking. He wants food. He wants fucking goddamn fucking food. Here, let me just feed you because I want him to like not fucking fight me for food and I need to feed him anyways because it's late. So let me feed him his ass real quick and then I can eat my goddamn spaghettios. Now, I don't know if people like measure their fucking dog food when they give their when they like give their dog food, but I just do this. Because he's a fat ass and he he's like skinny. Well he's he's not fat ass, but he's skinny and he needs to eat anyways. So that's what I do. Let me close this shit real quick. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to give him like a cup or something, but that's that's probably a cup. I just eyed that motherfucker out. I mean he's skinny as fuck, he needs to eat. Good job keeping your place clean. Dude, I <laughs> it's it's very easy to keep your place clean when there's not fucking 20 people coming over every day. So, you know, I'm not I'm not that dirty of a person. People seem to think that I'm a dirty motherfucker, but I'm not that dirty of a person, dude. It's just I always have people at my fucking house, which makes me seem like a dirty ass person. Uh, you know, if that makes any sense. So but, you know, and then obviously Kimberly helps clean the place too, but uh, <laughs> I think the worst, uh, the worst dirtiness we have in this house is Snoopy peeing and shitting on the floor. And we take about probably, I think about like four, three, four times a day um, with, you know, Kimberly. If, if you want him to stop doing something bad, say no in a low voice, but you don't need to yell. No, 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 no. I mean, I've done that. He don't listen. He just fucking bites me. But, but like, he, like, play bites me. But, uh, yeah, I take the dog out. He doesn't, he, he fucking pees outside. Then they bring him in. Ten minutes later, he pees inside. It's fucking annoying. But, I, I don't know. Whatever, dude. I have, like, carpet spray and shit. So, if he pees in the carpet, I'll just spray that shit with disinfectant. Like, scrub it down with a sponge. And back washing dishes with it. So, it's all good. Go pick up a homeless dude for the night. No. No, I don't want to bring any homeless dude back to my house, dude. Okay, let's save that for for Canada, bro. We, I like fucking. I'm not bringing a homeless dude back to my fucking house because this is not this is not a this place is not content. Okay, this is my house, so um, it's uh, it, it's not uh, how it was before, and you know because I I don't like the whole homeless people and blah 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 sleeping in my house and I get evicted. That's not fun. So this is not content space. This is my living. But when we get uh, out in the fucking, I don't know, if we travel or whatever, then anything's game. I don't really care. Hotel room's a hotel room, you know? <clears throat> get dog pee pads. Dude, I have dog pee pads. Some motherfucker doesn't use them. He pees next to the pee pad, but not on the fucking pee pad. It's uh, fucking annoying, to, <laughs> to be honest. But So I stopped using them because I was like, all right, I'm having these things all over, laying all over the house, but he doesn't use them, so it's just a waste. Are you getting a studio? Yeah, I mean, I'll eventually get a studio. Um, I'm deciding to just travel a little bit instead, so, um, but, you know, we're still looking. I have a guy who's helping me out. He's one of my moderators. He's helping me out looking for a studio. We found some places relatively cheap. They're like two to $3,000 a month, which, you know, 
kind of, I mean, it's expensive for Texas, but, um, you know, it's not really too crazy, I guess. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. It's definitely worth the investment. See how peaceful it is when everyone doesn't know. Yeah, it's great. It's, I, I'm living a peaceful life right now and I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's nice. Um, it's a change of pace from God, dude, from the past two years and you know, maybe one day I'll go back to crazy craziness, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's, it just, uh, my, my goal was to separate where I live with my stream and content and stuff. So that's, that goal, that goal has been achieved. Now when I travel, it's just like whatever, anything's game. But I do not want my house to be the content, you know what I mean? Because that shit got me depressed as fuck. And I'm not really out of feeling that way, I guess. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? It definitely is a good step. To, do you uh, live on the that. second floor? Uh, let me see, what did I do you live? So, um, I mean, log dog, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. What do you want me to say to that? Maybe. Who knows? What do you know? Um, Ice, can you play a game? I mean, I don't really have any games I want to play right now, to be honest. So, um, I mean, we're just chilling. So, how are you liking therapy? Do you think you'll stick with it? So, this is my second time visiting a therapist. I don't really get it. So, the first time I talked to her about what I do for a living and, you know, how I feel about that and blah, blah, blah. And then today, um, she talked about my childhood or asked me about my childhood and I explained my childhood to her and all this other stuff. And like, I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be getting out of it. You know what I mean? Like, I thought like, like, I mean, I told her I'm, I'm there for self for self relevation or like something like understanding who I am as a person, but I don't, uh, I don't know. It just seems like I'm paying somebody just to listen. You to seem happy ice. Keep it up. You're awesome. Thank you, Boris. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm getting there, dude. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Uh, like I said, traveling is, you know, I'm going to travel just because I want to help myself get back into the mood of streaming because lately, as you could probably tell, haven't really been in exactly the, the right mind or mood set to stream. So, you know, doing the, oops, what the fuck? Doing the, uh, the long ass 24 seven streams in Canada will definitely help me get that mindset, I think. Uh, because I mean, if I just stream for a week, for like a week straight or something, how could I not be in the mindset? How could I not get back into the, the, the role of things? Right. Um, let me see. Tell me if he's coming to van. What are you talking about, Joey? You should ask them where you want to be after therapy. It's a long road. Yeah. I don't really know though. It's a, it's a hard question, dude. I don't, I don't really know where I want to be after therapy. Just when I get sad or when I get, you know, not in a motivated mood, I need to just figure out how, like, how do, how do normal people deal with it? You know what I mean? Because, you know, so people are right. If I had a nine to five job, like I could, like, I would obviously go to the job because I wouldn't want to get fired, but how do people, therapy is there for you to talk and let everything out. How do people cope That's the reason you just talk about stuff. It's like, I mean, that's true, but it's like, I, if I went to a nine to five job, I'd be like, I don't think I do very good at the job. You know what I mean? Thank you, Dizzy. Because if I'm depressed, how can I be a good, I don't know, let's say police officer or a good, um, you know, EMT or, you know, plastic surgeon or, you know, dump truck driver. Like, you know, I, I feel like it'd be hard, but, um, normally we're dealing with emotions. <laughs> Find a hobby. I mean, my hobby is like, yeah, streaming, traveling, you know, that's like a hobby, I guess. I mean, streaming is a job, but it's also a hobby as well, sort of, right? Like streaming's a job and a hobby at the same time because stuff that I do in my free time pretty much all correlates to streaming, um, like watching streamers and wanting to look at places to travel to and, you know, this and that. So that's all like a part of it, I suppose. I mean, RuneScape's also a pretty good hobby. Um, you know, that, that does help a lot. Video games, you know, Mortal Kombat, whatever, so just, you know, gaming type shit. So I do like that. I've been, uh, I've been going on. Did you not pull the sponsorship or was it one stream deal? Um, it was a one stream deal. So for now, at least until, uh, we just, we see what's going on with that. Um, so I, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I was, uh, I've been going on walks and shit lately. So I've been trying to 
be healthier. And uh, actually, this is how I drink my water. So, I don't actually like water. I don't, I don't actually, that's how I used to get it. I don't actually like water. What's up, strawberry? Water is fucking disgusting and it just tastes like nothing, but I've been forcing myself to drink this shit, but this is how I do it. I basically just chug this shit. I'm not good at chugging, but I just, I, I drink, I try to drink at least four of these a day and I just, when it's time, like every couple hours, I'm like, all right, it's water time. I fucking chug the shit and I just get the fuck out of the way and then I can move on to, you know, eating other shit, so. Some of it went on me, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. I will hate to live in Texas. I hear that is human as shit. <laughs> I hate the humidity. How do you feel about the humidity? I mean, it's not bad. Today was a nice day. It was 96 degrees, so I don't think it's that bad, to be honest. Um, I personally like the heat, so, I mean, I keep the house at, like, 62 degrees. Most days. So, you know, when I'm in the house, I don't even feel the fucking heat. And I keep the car at 62 degrees as well, so it's fine. But when I go for a walk and shit, yeah, I mean, sometimes it gets really hot. I'm from Florida, though. I'm kind of used to it. I don't think it's a big deal. Now, if it starts getting past 100, that's probably going to kill me, and I'm going to be like, what the fuck? But, <laughs> I mean, I guess why I, I don't you run your streams at two hours and make some BS when you don't want to streams. I've noticed when you don't care, all of a sudden there's no callers. Pretty sure the only callers are mods. I mean, if only, dude. If only, right? Uh, no, that's, uh, yeah, the phone actually died when we were playing mini golf. If that's what you're going, getting at. And then I tried to turn it back on and it died again. I was like, oh, fuck it. But um, it's all good. In Canada, I'll make sure we got plenty of batteries, so don't worry about that. As long as they don't take that shit like they did with Sam in fucking China or India or whatever the fuck. Um, which they want, so I don't know. <clears throat> Come to Minnesota on our way to Canada. Write this down so you don't forget. Watch the movie Peaceful Warrior and thank me later. It's life changing, gives you a new perspective. Also, buy Bitcoin, hey, no, it's up three. Stop. No, fuck Bitcoin, that shit is a scam. Listen, um, Peaceful Warrior, Warrior. All right, I mean, my nights have been consisting of watching movies. I watched Gingerbread Man last night. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the fucking movie Gingerbread Man. It's a horror movie about a ginger, like a gingerbread man. He can't, he comes to life and like kills people and shit. I don't know. I've been watching really old fucking movies lately on YouTube. It's, Two no, it's, yeah, it's two ninety nine, uh, for you know, like universally everything is two ninety nine, like for most movies, um, and I've been watching just like old ass fucking movies, so I don't really know. It's just been fucking interesting. Like it's been fun because like new movies are kind of shit, but old ones have like they're just funny. Like they have like certain vibes that I really enjoy. Uh, I don't think new directors really know what they're doing. <clears throat> no, I don't want to. I don't want to go to Minnesota, dude. I'm sorry. Who won mini golf? Of course I did. I mean, who else? Um, I wanted to see the new Aladdin movie, though, with Will Smith. I don't know if that one's any good, but I don't really like Disney sort of movies where they, like, sing and shit, but, you know, any remake movie I can get into because it's, like, older style. Do you know, like, if that makes any sense. It's shit. Well, <laughs> well then, that sucks, dude. I thought it was going to be a good movie. Um, but you know, who knows? Spider-Man or Batman? Definitely, uh, definitely Batman. Spider-Man's just a kid, dude. He's kind of shit. And Batman's a fucking badass. Mm. Yeah, we, this is the first house I've ever lived in that has decorations. Look at that, dude. That's a plant. It's a fucking plant, dude. And then we have another fucking plant over there. And then we have a fucking, dude, it's just, I don't know, dude. We have, this is the first time we've ever decorated a fucking house, which... It's pretty nice, to be honest. It feels like a home. It feels homey and nice. Um, every other place I've lived in, it's always been like... It's like a frat house, you know? It's like fucking... I don't like. I, I never gave a shit about where I lived. I was just like, alright, we moved in. Let's fucking get some content. Put the lemon in your water and shake it up. Makes water taste better. 
Yeah, that's true, but I mean, I'm down the water in like 30 seconds. It doesn't matter how the water fucking tastes to me, honestly. Mario Party stream win. Um, I mean, I would need people to do Mario Party with in order to do a Mario Party stream. So, have you ever put together IKEA furniture? I have, and I'm not very good at it. So, I usually just give I, I usually hire some fucking dude from Home Depot to do it for me for like fucking $10. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not very good at building shit. I'm not very good at, uh, putting shit together, so like, I can't even screw shit. Like th these chairs right here that I built from Ikea, I built these chairs at Ikea probably, you know, a couple years ago. And I, it took me four hours to build one, okay? It took me three days to actually build both of them because I kept taking breaks. And all I had to do was put this part with the screw to this part. But I didn't understand what the fucking instructions were trying to tell me. I thought it was like it was. It's obvious now, but when the shit is not put together, it doesn't look very obvious. Do you ever miss your 2017 life in LA before everything got toxic? All the snipers, Andy's, and stuff. That was a crazy lifestyle, man. <laughs> um, I mean, it depends. I mean, for sure. Um, the lifestyle in, t in 2017, it was just me getting into some shit. That's what it was. You know, doing IRL and then, oh, like, 2017 was the year I was getting just constantly swatted, constantly fucking fucked with, and no, I don't miss it, actually. Now that I think about it, like, no. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I think, like, I've been, I went, no, nah, besides, like, I'm trying to think of, like, some positives in 2017. Like, there's not really much. Like, we had some we had some good streams, and we traveled a lot, and we did some cool stuff. But there was a lot of negatives that came with it, too. And uh, I want my 2019 life to be how it was in 2017, but without all the other negative bullshit. That would be great. So, I think 2018 was more of a crazier kind of year. Um, you know, there was a lot of toxic shit going around there, but... Definitely had some good times there. Um, event streams, stuff like that. Hey, homie. I'm still When are you going to get some regular streams when you get back from Canada? I'm talking gaming streams, VR streams, Earl streams around Austin. Also, when are the Florida streams happening? Well, I'll go to Florida when it's time to put Patrick down, I guess. Um, and uh, IRL, yeah, I mean, when I get to Canada, that's why I'm doing this whole traveling thing with the 24-7 stream, so I can get back into it. So, you know, I hopefully I can be in a good mindset by the time I get back from traveling um, and to do all that. But yeah, no, I, um, you know, I'm still going to do the event streams and, you know, all this other stuff. I just haven't been in the right mindset in the past, you know, whatever, two months or something. I've been depressed. So, um, you know, that's why I want to do this thing with Gary, you know, travel buddies, so. This is gonna be good. And people are some people are wondering why Gary, but they don't seem to understand that Gary's like a good dude and like an actual person that I can be friends with off stream. So, you know, obviously he's the one to take here. I subscribed for one month to do member streams. Only good break, bro, so I subscribe members only. Okay, thank you, dude. Um Yeah, I mean Gary may not be like crazy ass motherfucker who's like content and tries to fight everyone but that's kind of the point <laughs> you know what i mean that's why i like him so he's like a good dude and he's super chill and actually like being around him is fun we used to hang out off stream all that way hey ice here's a free idea go to a place called austin ninjas go get some snipers or homeless together and do a scuffed ninja warrior event how about do a DJ and SJC reunion stream? Ha 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 ha. No, I don't listen. I wish the best. I wish the best of luck to SJC, but not. Can we be friends off stream? Not, no, no, not DJ Dog. None of those fucking motherfuckers. But um, but you know, SJC, I wish him the best of luck. Um, Roxy, thank you, dude. Vodka, do you, do you? live in texas where what do you mean i mean you have to live here first cx in the Thank chat you, Hank. i appreciate the member dude but Bobby, let me tell you something the thing about this is I, it might be hard to be friends with you because my first impression of you is when you came on my stream and got really drunk so you're gonna have it's gonna be hard to change that first impression because those are the most important um and 
you know, because if I'm, I, I, want, I want a friend who's like, let me see, how do I put this? All right, let, let me start with this. I've met a lot of viewers that, you know, get offended when they, they, they can't be my best friend. You know what I mean? I actually had this one guy, he has been texting me for the past couple of days and, or like he texted me a couple times in like the past week or whatever. And he was just like, yeah, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. And like all this other stuff. And I'm like, and he was one of the guys, I, you remember the guy with the fucking, the fucking tattoos on the first time, the first stream I did in Austin, the fucking tattoo dude, like the, the, you know, he kind of like the black dude with tattoos. I don't know. Like that's how I describe him. That's what he looked like. That motherfucking guy was texting me every day and he's trying to be my friend. And you know, I had other shit going on and like, I didn't text him back because like, like, sorry, dude, I have other shit going on. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden he starts texting me like you're a piece of shit and fuck you. You're fake. And like, blah, blah, blah. And you're, your fucking channel's dying and fuck you. And I'm just like, wow, I'm so glad I didn't be your friend. You're, fu you're fucking fake as shit, dude. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, that's the thing that I'm scared with. Like being friends with, with viewers is, is, is a risk sometimes because I can't tell if they want to be my friend or if they want to just get something out of me. And that dude clearly wanted to get something out of me instead of be my actual friend. Because if I'm trying to be friends with somebody and they don't text me back, I just forget about it. I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm not offended. Fuck it. And then I move on with my life. Um, I don't get offended by like that shit and like call him a fucking, you know, fuck you and this and that. I don't do that. It's fucked up. And, uh, you know, cause we were never friends to start out with, you know? So if he was like my friend off the start, I would understand how he would get angry, but we were never friends off the start. So it's, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's just weird, but, and also being friends with viewers is a little weird sometimes because you guys know everything about my life and I don't know it. I don't know anything about your lives. So when I have people come up to me and they can tell me everything that I feel and exactly who I am, but I don't know anything about them. It's just weird. Like, I don't know. I, it, it makes it like, like we're not on the same page of, of friendship because they are so much more farther into the book than I am. So I, I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm definitely friendly with people, but it's very hard for me to be friends with viewers, um, like best fucking friends. But you know, I'll definitely smoke a blunt with you guys. Like come, we chill, smoke blunt, you know, we talk. I do that all the fucking time. Um, but I can't promise that I'll be your best friend. <laughs> so. Illegal. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I'd do that in Texas. I, I don't do that in Texas. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Gary's uh, somebody that I, I hung out with a little bit off stream in LA, and I was like, I like this dude. So, hmm. it's like dating your therapist. I don't know if I'd say that, but there, there is. Okay, hello, I get it. If you ever come to Niagara Falls, I will def stream snipe you and bring you some made of the mist tickets. I don't expect anything from you. Just legit want to hang with you. Good luck. Hey, well, it's See perfect. In the chat. As long as you have the expectation, perfect. If I go to Niagara Falls, I will motherfucking hang out with you. We'll do shit, whatever. That's fine. Uh, I just don't want, uh, you know, weird or false expectations here. Thank you, Carax. I appreciate that, homie. And Hank, thank you, dude, for the member dudes. Um, I've had, uh, yeah, I've had people, they like, I wouldn't say it's like dating your therapist, but I have. CX network epilogue. Paul moved to Texas. The other streamers became irrelevant. SSJ gets arrested for facking his cat. And the chicken went to Asian Andy's KFC bucket. Also, Paul can't order weed. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, technically you can order weed, but it's motherfucking not legal, right? But, um, yeah. Like I was saying, I wouldn't think you're right. I wouldn't say it's like dating your therapist, but I would say it's like dating uh, something interesting. Because some people, they, 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 they think they know what they're talking about. You know, I've had a lot of people try to give me advice, like a lot of viewers in person. I'm not like saying, don't give me advice on Twitter or something. Because you can do that. I read all my fucking Twitter DMs. But I'm saying in person, some people try to push way too hard to be my manager. And they try to tell me exactly what I should be doing. 
you don't understand how many managers I've had in my life that, well, so many managers I've, people have tried to Yo, Paul, tell me. Gary that. touched me, and I liked it CX. Okay, thank you, dude. Uh, don't that happen. Thank you, dude. E-Man, I appreciate it. Yeah, everyone wants to be my Paul, get out your pool above ground with CX side. Alien. <laughs> Uh, I mean, hey, an outdoor pool would be good, but I have nowhere to put it. Unfortunately, dude. One of the main people who's there for you always having your back when you're mentioned Lucha. What do you think of Lucha? Send him a message. I know has got your back 100%. Nothing but a true friend. Lucha is a good-ass fucking dude. I respect the fuck out of Lucha. He's a good guy. Um, and that's why we brought him to Japan. He's a good fucking dude. Um, you know... Not going to Canada, but that's okay. You know, I don't want to bring a bunch of motherfucking ass people. But he's a good dude. Um, I don't really care what anyone says. Anyone who says he's not a good dude is is retarded, <laughs> for to be honest. But I don't know. <sighs> Fuck it, dude. Um, now, how long do you think we'll be in Vancouver for, chat? Before we can, can I get my member back on Discord? I just posted six sticks for six bad episodes of Game of Thrones. Well, if you posted Stick, then probably not, dude. Unfortunately, Stick is banned on the Discord, homie. Um, and illegal, so. Yeah, how long do you think we'll be in, uh, thank you, in Vancouver for before we just get, like, tired of it? I'm thinking, like, two to three days. I mean, I don't really know how big the city is, but probably two to three days. And then, uh, like, what's the next major city that's near Vancouver? Because they're all, like, it's pretty much by itself. And every other major city is, like, on the Toronto side, oops, and uh, Toronto's far as fuck, it's like a, it's probably like a 10 hour drive, which I, I mean, I would be down to drive that, but I'd, I'd rather just fly, like we'll probably just fly to fucking Toronto from Vancouver, if, you know, everything goes well. Stick is, no, stick is not legal, stick is illegal, do not post stick, you will get banned, okay, in the Discord. <laughs> New YouTube emotes. I do you know. I actually do need some new YouTube emotes. They are pretty outdated, like the SSJ one and all these other ones. But um, you know, fucking, I just I don't have an artist to make new emotes, and I don't really know what to put. Um, so I know I, it's easy to say, but you've just got to keep going, and I promise it will get better. You're an artist. I love and support you, dude. And if that makes me a yes man, then guess what? I'm a yes man. Bro, it's all good, homie. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, dude, buddy. Don't worry about all that. Hey, if you're a uh, if you're an artist, my DMs on Twitter op are open. Send me some fucking emotes or something, artwork, and I'll put it in the uh, the YouTube chat as like one of the new emotes. So I'll do that. <clears throat> so <clears throat> we should be good. Neb, what's up, Neb? My girl's an artist. I'll make sure to make some emotes. Yeah, just send them to me then, and then I'll just add them. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, just like a face or something. Something that you think would be, like, good. Um, Kimberly, Snoopy, Stevie, Pepe. <laughs> Stevie, Pepe, dude. Oh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Maybe more, like, pretty uh, generic. Not generic, but, you know, more, like, applicable shit. Are you excited to go with Gary to Canada? Dude, I'm very excited. I... Let me, let me give you the day-to-day -day of my life for the past week or two weeks. I wake up, I do nothing, I watch uh, fucking TV, or I, like I, I either play RuneScape or I watch fucking YouTube, and then I go to sleep. That has been my life. I've been living it very low-key for the past two weeks, so I'm ready to like get the fuck out there and do some shit, dude, because it's been low-key as fuck. Which is fine. It's a good you know, break from a lot of this shit. Um, but it's, it's been, it's been low key. That's for sure. Thoughts on Sam's Canada? I've had my member taken for a month now. Can I get early parole? I'm a reformed father. Sam's, uh, I mean, Canada training has been pretty good. He's been just doing stuff with Hannah, which is cool. Um, but I can't say I've watched much of it. Um, I watched a lot of the India stuff, but, uh, the Canada stuff I've, you know, go in here and there. I just haven't seen much of it. I've just been busy doing other stuff. I've had my taken for a month. I get an early parole. Well, you're going to have to ask the mods about that night. I can't uh, I can't help you with that. That's the mods job. So <clears throat> go for that. Sounds like my life plus work, which is so easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been, it's definitely been an easy two weeks. 
Have you talked to Boldasad recently? Yes, I have. Uh, actually, I talked to him today. Um, I might see him soon. Don't know when, but maybe soon. What is Stick and why is it banned? Uh, stick is a picture of a uh, is of a stick going through a, a dude ball sack and like up hit and out of his chest. So it's banned because it's fucking disgusting and it's gore and ain't nobody trying to look at that shit. So why the fuck? How is Imad's job if they get paid zero dollars? It's free labor, homie. What can I say? Um, yeah, if you got banned on Discord, you're going to have to talk to the mods about that one, dude, because they're the ones who take care of all of that, unfortunately. So you might want to get on their good side. Yeah, the mods do get paid zero dollars, but what they can do is flex their e -peen, and I think that's the whole point of it. I have a guest house in Canada you can use. Hit me up on Discord. Yo, Tenzi, um, fucking, can you just DM me on Twitter? Because any place that I can sleep at that's not a hotel would be great, because... Of like, uh, you know, obvious reasons. Like, I don't want to get fucking my hotel room, get pizzas or some stupid shit. So, I don't know. <clears throat> what if this guy murders you? I mean, that's a risk I'm willing to take. I mean, if I'm streaming and somebody murders me on stream, they're only gonna, like, they're gonna get caught. Like, you can't murder somebody on a live stream uh, because you will get caught. And what the fuck is the point of doing that? Like, why would you do that? Unless you're a psychopath and you're going to probably, like, kill yourself afterward. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Hmm. Sorry, you look more relaxed. Oh, I'm a hell of a lot more relaxed, dude. I mean, I think a few months ago, I was so, like, up in arms and so stressed. And I was just on another level, dude. But I'm very relaxed right now. I'm just, I'm hanging out, dude. I'm chilling. Hi, homie. Glad to see you in a better mood. Stay strong, homie. And let me flex your mod JPR for best mod 2K19. Uh, hey, JPR. I appreciate you, homie. I don't know if I can make you mod Paul, because... Harvey is cry. Call him. GX. I don't know if I can make you mod because, you know, I can't just make everyone mod. But thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know who that is, but thank you, dude. Stop neglecting robot. Andy, dude needs some vagina. Oh, no, there's no neglecting here. Hold on, let me just... <clears throat> you guys are crazy. Hold up. You guys are probably... Wondering. Did you see EBZ Con, son? It finally happened. Condoms in the trash can. Michael Danino, pro ag boy for a life. Sometimes, Paul, I wish I birthed to find young black man like <laughs> Ebenezer Lembe. Strong chin. Yeah, hey, EBZ Con was lit, dude, that's for sure. I... I <laughs> fuck it, dude. It was good, man. I'm like... Did you see the PlayStation E3 conference? I did not. I was waiting for it. Yo, the, he's not neglected. He still works. I could turn his ass on. The only reason why I don't turn him on is because, I mean, I can make him not fuck the walls up if I wrap a towel or whatever, but I, I don't see the point. Like, he's going to fucking knock itself over, or knock this fucking table over, or fall down the fucking stairs, or I don't know, just fucking leak where I live or some shit. Like, so, I don't know, dude. The robot's just doing his thing, bro. Did you see EBZ? Thoughts on coming to Eastern yeah. Europe. Lots of love from Bulgaria CX. Wait, hold up. Let me show you another thing as well, chat. You guys will probably find this interesting. Do you guys remember this one? Do you guys remember this one right here? This was Robot Andy version 1. Robot Andy version one dude right there. This one still works too. Cornbot. Because that's the motherboard and everything. So maybe I could turn this one on at some point. Because I'm pretty sure he still works. That's a fucking bomb. Dude, if I was, <laughs> dude, if I was in public with this thing, it does look like a bomb, dude. That, I could not. I could not. I mean, to be fair, going in public with, with this motherfucker is not any goddamn better. Like, you know what I mean? But, hey. You were giving him the scum? Uh, no, I wanted to keep it. It's like, my, it's memories, dude. I want to keep that shit. I don't want to give it to anybody. I mean, sorry, scum, but that shit's fucking nice. Let me see. Good luck for your new arrive. Is she, is it a he or she? Grandma Enzo will be so happy. Dude, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, homie. I do not give people 
babies, dude. I could never give people babies. Like, fuck that shit, homie. That's that's not my thing. That's irresponsible. Can you rate my deck from one to ten? I never had a gay man opinion. Well, I don't know what your dick looks like, so I can't probably a ten though. Every dick's a ten in my eyes, as long as it's over three inches. Cause every dick looks pretty good, just in its own way. Thought good luck for your new arrive. Is it he or is she? Grandma and Zoe will be so happy. Hey, I'll go to Grandma and Nino in the chat. Okay, whatever, dude. Fuck no, I don't. I'm too. I'm too responsible. Sapro, I live three hours away, but always visit Austin. I want to show you a badass chill spot up there. Little hiking and climbing, maybe not smoking a blunt in Texas. No social media. We'll see what's up. I mean, I'm down for that, bro. Fuck it, dude. Put some pill noodles on the side of Robot Andy and set it free. They say if you some love someone, set them free, Pepe hands. Yeah, he don't kill himself by going down the stairs. Um, yeah, probably at least. Um, I guess I put a box them in the way. Or you got someone, someone will fuck the house up. Um, or look out a window or something. Yeah, I'm down for that, Lonson. Just hit me up on Twitter, bros. DM me. And yeah, I'll go to uh, Eastern Europe one day. I don't know about Bulgaria. It's like that place has got nothing in it. But maybe somewhere around there. I don't really know. I don't know what the most eastern place I've been in in Europe. Probably Amsterdam, right? Probably Italy or something. I don't really know where east is in the map. Uh, yeah, probably Italy then, because that's like towards the Middle East. I think Italy's been the closest I've been to the Middle East so far. So, who's the head mob? Mod Nebber D3? Uh, Neb's probably the, uh, it's going to be the, the head mod there. So, and if you want to know. Who is the head mod? Nebber D3. Although they're all, pretty, all the admins have the same amount of power, so... Middle East, go to Iran. Dude, I don't think Iran even has internet connection to stream. Go to Russia. Dude, Ru Russia's a communist country. Like, I mean, I don't think I would die if I went over there. So I, maybe one day. I just don't like the cold. It's cold as fuck over there. But, you know, some drunk-ass vodka motherfucker will just see me and he'll fucking smash me. He'll fucking smash me with a bottle and then I'll, I'll die. Like, <laughs> and their communist country would be like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Like, you're an American. Russia's not communist anymore. How does it feel that more people turned up to Etcon than are going away party? Where is abortion and she left you yet? Also a reminder that I, I couldn't have anyone at the house for the going away party. Uh, oh wait, no, the going away party where we had like in the room. Yeah, if you're talking about that, it wasn't a party. It was like, a, it was just a stream. And, uh, yeah, we invited certain people that weren't going to leak the place. So that's why we, I invited specific people that were not going to leak the place. Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. I don't really understand EBZ con. It was like, a like a, like a, like an open stage thing or something, right? It was like, there was 20 artists and they all went up on stage and people voted for them. I didn't really understand it, but, uh, it was interesting when I watched it. So hopefully, so I don't know what's Please like turn Robot there. on. I miss him very much, and so does everyone else. I always played with it on my phone in class. Frowns CX. I'm down to... I've had depression on. for five years and almost committed suicide. Until I saw Jandro crack and I was saved. Dude, seeing Andrew's crack is like seeing the gateway to heaven, homie, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. You know, if I turned a robot on... In, in Italy, we got Mafia. No can stream here. I I, I I would just have to be careful with the robot because like there's a lot of shit in this house that the robot can break and that's what I'm scared of. Maybe I'll turn on Cornbot so it can't break. Go anything. retweet my hashtag set robot hand free. Let's get this monster tweeted and he will have to set him free. I mean I can just I can release Cornbot. I'm just scared that the big one is gonna fuck the house up and like break shit and like turn you got you motherfuckers turned on the stove at my other house. And almost burn the fucking place down. So I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and the stove is on. Like, that would be dangerous, dude. Um, you know what I mean? So, but maybe I'll turn on the cornbot one. Because then they, they can't fuck the shit up. It's just kind of a scuffed-ass robot. It doesn't go very fast. And the dog's going to fucking attack it. But that's fine. Y'all can get attacked by the dog. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, the robot turned the fucking stove on. It took its goddamn hand and it turned the thing. And, I, yeah, it was fucking dangerous, dude. <laughs> so... Uh, I don't know. I don't want the deposit to get off. I don't want to lose my goddamn deposit. Let me go get the... Let me go get Cornball. Let me even see... Let me see if this shit still works. Actually, I don't even know how to even do Cornball right now. 
because I have to connect it to a certain IP address. So I have to connect it to a Wi-Fi that has a certain name. And I think I can just change my phone's hotspot name to the name of that that it's supposed to connect to, and then it should work. But I can't do that right now. It's too much work. I'll do that later. <laughs> He'll run over Snoopy. Bro, Snoopy is much bigger than the fucking robot. It will, just, it will fuck that thing up, dude. What are you talking about? <clears throat> but let me see. Oh, yeah, I'm using the phone to stream. I'm, I'm, like, looking for it, but it's fucking streaming, so I'll do that later. I don't even know. Like, if, if it works, I'll just post it in Discord, and then people can fucking use it if they want. But there's, like, stairs here, so um, it's going to... You, you won't be able to, like, go to my room or anything because it's fucking not going to be in the... I'm not going to put the robot in the room. I'll put it, like, in the living room, so it won't be able to get to me. Won't turn on the robot leak shit? Um, I mean, not if I keep it in, like, a specific area, like the living room or something. Should be fine. And it's also, like, a robot is, like, a foot off the ground, so <laughs> it can't really see out windows or anything. So that's fine. How's the uh, so Vancouver? Is that place expensive as fuck or cheap? Why am I not on my PC? Because I wanted the freedom to like walk around and stuff. I don't want to be constricted onto a computer. I'm not talking about rent in Vancouver, like food and traveling and stuff. Hmm. Canada's expensive in general? Really? What? Why the fuck is Canada just... Why is Canada so expensive? I thought Canada was like a shittier version of America. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought people moved to Canada when they can't handle America. So how the fuck is it more expensive? High taxes? Well, that is some shit, ain't it? I mean, that's fine, but that's like, that is surprising. I thought Canada would be cheap as fuck, because who the fuck lives in Canada? I mean, I guess it's like really cold up there, so they have to import everything, so they can't grow their own crops. So that's probably why it's expensive. But I don't think it's too bad. 75 Canadian cents is one USD, maybe. Mm -hmm. My cat's here. Yeah, she's got her cat. I have been suffering from depression for over seven years and was considering suicide until I saw Jandro's Fruity Man bun get ripped off in UFC X2. Okay. Yo, she, her cat fucking hates me. Of course she doesn't. <laughs> Fruity Man. <laughs> Yo, chill, dude. Fucking. It sounds like you need to talk to Hondro, bro. Sounds like Honcho saved your fucking life, and you should probably hit him up. Uh, I don't know what that means, someone, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, her cat, uh, her name is Lily, and uh, she doesn't like me very much. I don't know why. She's just, she, like, fucking growls at me and shit, hisses at me. Her and Snoopy get along just fine, though. But that's her cat that she's had for, like, ten years or something, so. That's why, uh, you know, we, we actually haven't had it for a while. Um, it's been at her friend's house, um, and... Her friend actually brought it over all the way from Missouri a couple days ago, so that's good. She, obviously, she wasn't gonna bring it over at the mansion because the cat would have fucking ran away or something. Uh, and the cat and the yeah, the, Lily and uh, Snoopy get along just fine. So the cat and dog are all good. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate the uh, the super chat, homie. Yeah, the cat is blind in one eye. It has cataracts or something. I don't really know. So, so, some Gary the producer, some subscribe though. CX. Yeah, Gary the producer is a good dude. Check him out. Fucking, it, it's gonna be nice. Now, what I need to do is get some some ideas going for uh, if I do the web, if I like open up the website. Besides having my stream and his stream on the site, I think I'm gonna add some other little things to it. Like I want to add maybe. Reddit on the sidebar, so you got chat, you have Reddit on the sidebar, I want to add um, maybe Discord as well there, so it's all just, everything's on the same, just like one fucking page, and uh, the interaction is just very, you know, tight-knit type of thing, um, and maybe sort of like, uh, 
you know, besides that heartbeat monitor and like other kind of shit, I think we can implement that. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I just want to try and add something to the stream that we haven't done before. I just uh, need to see what the possibility of that actually is. But I think it would be interesting to use Reddit as like a chat as well. Um, if it's like on the sidebar and you can switch between Reddit new and a chat, which would be interesting. Are you guys going to add anyone else's TX website other than Gary? Well, when we're done traveling, I'm probably going to just uh, close the website back down or something. I don't really know. I don't want the website to be a network. You know, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for, I'm going for something else. I don't really know exactly what it is yet, but I'm trying to polish something. Yo, my girl just said cats get one eye like that because they have herpes. Girl street cats will get herpes and pass it to their cat kids and they have one eye. Can you ask him if that cat has herpes? No, it's just blind in one eye. I forgot why, but she told me why the fucking, she's blind in one eye, but she said some kind of medical thing. I don't really remember. It's just some cataract shit. But she got her when she was blind already, so I don't really know. Um, yeah, but um, I think that'll be interesting for the engagement part. But if you guys have any ideas, throw them my way in the DMs or Reddit or whatever, and I'll herpes. add it to the website. Huh? The cat has herpes. I'll tell them. The cat has herpes? Yeah. What are you talking so, about? The cat has herpes. Yo, I've been kissing that cat. The on the, herpes on the fucking mouth. You can't get cat herpes. I mean, her herpes is herpes, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? No. I've been like licking that shit. You can't get cat herpes. So she was born with herpes, and when she was a kitten, her eyes wouldn't open herself. So the doctor opened it herself, and he she was so little that he accidentally slit her third eyelid, and her herpes spilled out. So under it... Like, she can kind of see, but if she has a flare-up, it's worse. What do you mean, dude? The doc... Yeah, did y'all... Did y'all... Y'all see the doctor? Well, I adopted her. I escaped the cat herpes. I... No, I don't... I don't have herpes, motherfucker. The vet told me 95% of cats have herpes. Yo, I don't like that cat anymore. Get that shit out of the no. house. I don't... Get that shit out of the house, dude. Like, that shit's gonna give Snoopy herpes. Yo, if our dog gets fucking herpes, that's not gonna be fun. A cat why not? A monkey can give a human AIDS. I don't know. Have you ever heard the story of a monkey that gave the human AIDS? You know how Ebola started as well? From a monkey. Or like a, a fucking chimp or something. Or like a, maybe it was like a worm or something. I don't know. Somebody fucked something and that's how AIDS and Ebola started. Nobody's gonna fuck my cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're insinuating. I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no, we're not in LA. Uh, never mind, but. Uh, Let Romeo, Romeo meet the cat. Who the fuck is Romeo, dude? Like, from Shakespeare, dog? I don't know, but thank you, dude. So you're saying somebody fucked an I DM you yes. an unseen picture of Mr. Poseidon himself. Show the stream, lol. An unseen picture? Let me see. What the fuck is it, dude? Show the stream? You DM'd it to me, huh? Let me see. I can only assume what you DM'd me here. Get on Nightward VC. House is yours, homie. <laughs> I can't show this picture because it's like I'm using the phone to stream as well, but it's just me in a, in a go kart from uh, when I was in the military truck or something. Uh, get on Discord VC. House is yours, homie. Well, I can't do that right now, but I will do that. Later, just DM me on Twitter, dude, your Discord name. And uh, I'll just add you or something and we can talk about it. But thank you, dude. Who the fuck I mean, is Canada Romeo? is a pookier version of America. But you are going to a very big city in Canada with lots of tourism. If you want cheap, go to Halifax, New Brunswick, well, Newfoundland, and Labrador. I don't care about cheap. I'm not going there to fucking live, dude. So it's, it's well, fucking, I don't care about that. I was wondering. Gary's dog? Oh, Gary's fucking dog. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, why would I want to get Romeo to meet the cat? Why would I want Gary's dog to meet the cat? Is it like fuck cats or something? Let me see. Sprinkle donut. Take responsibility. Okay. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that sprinkle donut. That was a cute exchange between Ice and Kim. Genuine chemistry, dude. I fucking adore that woman. 
Okay, and you know what? I think one day she's going to be she's going to go from my girlfriend that does laundry to my girlfriend that makes a bed because motherfucker, I made the bed earlier. So, no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> ice new plan. Invite SSJ over and pretend to leave him with the herbs cat. Leave webcam running. SSJ leaves with herbs plus you have blackmail against him to get your money back from the snake. I don't think that will. I don't think that would go well at all. And I don't think that's. The, I don't think that's the the move. <laughs> I don't think that's the move, homie. I'm sorry to say, but uh, also, if somebody if somebody did want to get with a cat, and they would see the the herpes in the eye, and they wouldn't get with the cat. You know what I mean? If you if you're about to fuck a girl, and she got clearly herpes on her pussy. Are you gonna fuck that girl? I don't care if you're a virgin or not. You probably are not gonna fuck that girl because nobody is desperate enough to willingly get an STD that is not curable. No, like nobody's willing. Like I don't think so. I probably I think okay. Listen, back in the day, I was a desperate motherfucker. I purposely had sex with somebody who had gonorrhea. Motherfucker, gonorrhea is curable. And I cured that shit. We're good. I didn't give a fuck. I peed and it fucking hurt for like two days and we're good now. Um. Obviously nowadays, not I would never fucking do that. But if it's curable, who gives a fuck? If it's not curable though, it's another story. Like AIDS and shit, I would not have sex with an AIDS girl. And then, you know, because I'm desperate. Like that's not happening. Like how what would it what would it take for you to have sex with an AIDS? I got the real AIDS smoke girl? in ADX. Pack spots for days. Pack spots for days? Hey, well, I mean, I don't know what that means. I don't smoke weed, homie. That's illegal here. Probably shouldn't talk about that on a live stream. Um, yeah, no. What would it take for you guys to have, to have sex with somebody with herpes? I'll go with that. A little bit less intense. Does it have to be a 10 out of 10 girl? Does it have to be... Like, what does it have to be? Okay, it's Poseidon. No, I I don't have AIDS, dude. I would not do that. I'm just like, motherfucker, she, her she did heroin. Thinking about suicide and I'm going to live stream me recording driving through Area 51 security line and see what's inside there, but I'm putting a bullet in my head before they catch me. Probably not a good idea. And you probably shouldn't do that because that's going to be awful and you have a lot of shit to live for. Um... But they will definitely shoot you before they stop the car. Like you will be shot the moment you cross the line. Um, you know that's definitely not not the thing to do, bro. <clears throat> what the fuck, dude? <clears throat> Twenty out of ten. Damn, you guys are would actually have sex with a, a, a chick with herpes if she's hot. That's fucked. Like, listen, there's, there's other, there's plenty of, there, prostitutes are $200 and don't have herpes. Like, hopefully, right? So, maybe that should be what you do. Have you heard of Comet AI? I have not, Tenzi, what is that? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think that was a joke, Kyle, but... Obviously, that's not a good joke. It's not a funny joke. It's got to be a threesome, dude. A th no, I would. Can, I would purposely contract herpes if it was like me, Megan Fox, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian doing a foursome, and they all had herpes. You know what I mean? Like, sure. Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Because I can say that the last people I had sex with without herpes were these fucking famous ass people that you know, are like everyone's crush. So, I don't know. Fuck it, dude. At that point, I would, but it would be worth it, you know? It wouldn't just be like some random ass thought that had herpes. <laughs> if they use this trap on me, I'll be down. Jeremy, you're a fucking weirdo, homie. Megan Fox before she had a kid. Megan Fox is still pretty good to this day. I don't know, kids or not. I mean, it don't, it don't really matter to me. So, what if your girlfriend had herpes? I, I probably wouldn't be dating her if she had herpes, dude. Uh, I, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I, I, you can tell someone has herpes because they act weird. 
You know what I mean? It's like if you're about to fuck and you're acting like guilty, you know something ain't right. Okay? You have to have sex with a girl that wants to have sex with you. If they feel shame and guilt before you even stick it in, something's not right. And you probably should just take a step back and think about it for a sec. Can't herpes be practically cured? Well, you can, yeah, it can be put like in a position where you can't contract it to other people, but you still have it, which well, I would not want that either. Like, I don't care if I can't contract it to people. That's not cool to have. That would not be fun. So fuck that shit. I would love to show you guys the view that we have out the windows. It's very nice, especially at night, but maybe one day. This should be interesting, The uh, this Wednesday. Now, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I mean, probably just like some chill shit. I don't know, maybe gaming. I don't really know. Maybe I'll game tomorrow or something. I'm just waiting until Wednesday when we uh, do some stuff. I need to, uh, I don't know if I need to make a new uh, thumbnail for my stream, but maybe. For uh, the Canada stuff. Let me see. Hey, guys, I'm a big fan of yours. I'm so proud. What is Harvey G taking about? I don't know who you're talking about. I'm so proud of your friends. YouTube success. Likes to like your chat activity. Look at chat. Full of the same 30 participants. Harvey who? Thank you, dude. Who? All right. Thank you, Tobe. Appreciate that, homie. Yeah, I don't know who, bro. Yeah, we're, just, we're in fucking sponsor mode, bro. Of course. And it's not 30 participants. It's 35 participants. Okay. There's a difference here. And the like-dislike ratio, I mean... It doesn't really matter. Like, fuck it. People want to dislike more than like. I mean, that's obvious. I've already come to terms with that. I know that I'm going to get more dislikes than likes. If I get more likes on a stream than dislikes, I will be, if ever, I would be so surprised. I would probably run for fucking president. There's more likelihood of me running for president and winning than getting more likes on my fucking stream than dislikes. So, at this point, it doesn't even bother me. I'm just so content with it. <laughs> Let me see, Paul, do you enjoy the sponsor stream? Yeah, I like hanging out. I love hanging out. I think it's fun. It's um, a lot more fun to hang out uh, in a chill vibe than a, than a crazy one sometimes, that's for sure. Make the title, I quit live streaming. Yeah, that would give me some likes, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, I would not do that. Oh, man. I don't really get it. Some, sometimes people stream and they... Uh, you know, they like talk to chat and they're just like, oh, I'm going to quit live streaming. What if I did this? Well, what if I just quit? You know, and I, when I see that, I'm just like, like, no one's going to say don't quit. You know what I mean? People are just going to say quit. Like they're always going to go with the option that they know you're not going to do because, you know, people can see right through that shit. <laughs> Does Japan stream some majority likes? Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully the Canada one follows that trend. <clears throat> Joseph Costello, have you heard of him? I have heard of him, yes. This is better than the mini golf. Yeah, the mini golf was kind of scuffed. It was really hot. And I was drunk and the stream kept dying, but <laughs> I was I was just trying to do something, dude. I forgot my ID, so I couldn't go to any of bars. So I was like, fuck. I'm like, what are we going to do, motherfucker? That sucked. I'll just see you say hi to Dylan or Rebella. What's up, Dylan? This time last year, you have 10K? Yes, I know. It's, it's weird how time works. <laughs> Get drunk at the house by myself right now? I don't think that's, I don't think I should do that right now. I mean, there's plenty of times to get drunk when we, uh, you know, travel, so don't worry about that. Oops. <clears throat> will you ever get Steve laid? I don't think so. I don't think Steve will ever get laid. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I can do it, though. Um, play CTR. Well, I don't have the game. I was just watching videos of, it, of, of people doing speed runs and stuff. You know, bigger TV. I mean, it's like a 60-inch. It's not bad. It's pretty good. So, do you have any plans for Canada? So, we're going to start with Vancouver. If it goes well, we're going to travel to Toronto and then Quebec and Montreal and, you know, all those fucking places. Just, like, going down the line. So... But Vancouver has to go well. You know what I mean? We have to be having fun. Um, if we're not having fun, then, you know, then fuck it. But we'll see how it goes. It should be fun. I don't see why it wouldn't be fun. Um, you know what I mean? 
Excited for as fuck for French. CX Canada. in the chat. You know, I'm more excited to go to Quebec than Vancouver. I, I could give two fucks about Vancouver. I know it's a good city, and I've been wanting to travel to it, but I like going to exotic places. Vancouver doesn't look very exotic. It looks very... I don't know. It just seems very plain. Very, like, it's like America, you know what I mean? Whereas we're a place they speak French, now that's some exotic-ass shit. That's some different-ass shit. So, so why are you going? Well, I mean, like I said, I've been wanting to check it out. Like I'm, I like traveling, and I haven't been there yet, so it is, you know, it is a nice thing to go to. You plan on streaming with Sam? Um, well, I mean, I'm probably gonna say hi to Sam. Are we gonna stream together? I don't know because, you know, I think it's better to just do our own thing type shit. But we'll probably hang out off stream. That's for sure. If they're, you know, if we have time off stream. Um, cause I think we're just going to keep the stream on pretty consistently. So <clears throat> thank you, old Dro. And thank you, Josh. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dude. But you know, we'll see. I mean, he's doing his own thing. He's doing a good job right now. So I don't want to interfere with that. Quebec's very hard to do things if you don't know French. Well, thank God I got the phone app that speaks French for me. Fucking Google Translate. It's like I did in Japan. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll figure that shit out. Yo, fucking, I haven't had any Red Bull or any fucking energy drinks at all for so long, dude. I have literally been, I am stocked the fuck up on GG subs, dude. I have so fucking many of these. It is unfucking real Like, they, they definitely hooked me up, bro. Please do another Japan stream. Hey, one day. We're going to go back there one day, homie. You don't have to worry about that. Just, uh, I want to travel to other places first. Code came, not code ice, bro. Um, is your current apartment better than the ones in LA? Oh yeah, dude. The one, the dude, apartments in LA are dog shit. <laughs> for fucking in LA, bro, you pay like $6,000 for a two bedroom and it's like, they're nice. Like, you know, it's modern, but it's not like, it's really, they're, they're all really small. You know what I mean? Whereas literally anywhere else in the country for the same price, you get a fucking huge ass place. You know what I mean? So I don't know, bro. Like, um, LA has got some, some shitty places to live. So can I get you a mansion in Austin? Yeah, dude, for, <laughs> first of all, if I wanted, I was looking before I moved here, I was looking at, uh, some pretty big houses just out of curiosity. And I could get literally a fucking eight bedroom house, which would have been bigger than the streamer house that we had in LA for $4,000, $4,000. Four thousand dollars. And I'm like, wow, that is crazy, dude. <laughs> for like, if I ever wanted to do a streamer house again, that's easy. But you know what I mean? I don't have to pay $25,000 a month anymore for that shit. Not like ever dead, but you know, obviously, I don't, I don't want to do that again. Not at the moment, at least. So <sighs> you can travel there easily and post up for a week or two. Yeah, that is true. What's your favorite food so far in Austin? Barbecue. Barbecue. They have some good ass barbecue places here. They have some good ass Mexican places, but I don't know, like the food trucks. Yeah, you know, I like going to like different shit, but I've been having mainly barbecue. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of good Texas, uh, shit like that. And there's a place here called Chewy's and I've been having a lot of the queso. Chewy's is fucking good. Their cheese is really good. Do you hit up Franklin's? I have not hit up Franklin's yet. I am not, I don't wake up early enough to go there. So I do want to try it though, but I hear there's a huge ass line and I need to like, Like, go there at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning and, like, wait in line. So, I don't know. I've just been going to Chewy's. Either Chewy's or barbecue. It's not healthy. Like, mind you, it's not fucking healthy. But it's a lot healthier than McDonald's and Wendy's every fucking day. So, I don't know. Yeah, I waited four hours in line for Franklin's. Yeah, that's the, like, I don't care about food that much to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have a Fogo de Chow here. You know, I go there once in a blue moon and fucking have steak. So, that's been my diet. Um... Although the Fo I don't go to Fogo that much because it's like eighty fucking dollars a person and it's buffets basically and I don't fucking eat that much food so it's a waste of money. Taco shack almost every morning. Yeah, dude, the food trucks here is the way to go. It's cheap as fuck. 
They're, it's good as fuck, and they're everywhere. You can walk to a fucking food truck. So, from, from like, where it doesn't matter where you live in Austin. They have food trucks everywhere. You know, if you're at least anywhere in the city, you, you can just walk to a fucking 24-hour food truck. What's, the What's your opinion on this streaming to 19K viewers right now? Smile by. I don't know, dude. I'm sitting here worrying about myself, but thank you. Um, what's your favorite GG flavor? It is... What's the best uh, GG flavor? Of course, it's going to be the watermelon ice. Of course, it's going to be the watermelon ice. I mean, that's my flavor, so... What can I say? Maybe I'm a little biased. Now, besides it being my flavor, I guess the green apple would have to be the second one. Green apple is really fucking good. Let me see. <clears throat> Looks like a big apartment. It's 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 a good one. It's a nice place for sure. I take the ferry from Van to Victoria. There's a horseshoe bay. <laughs> Dude, I did not want to go to a horseshoe bay in Canada. That does not sound like a fun time. That sounds like reminiscing on some bad memories, dog. Do you make money from GG? I don't have a sponsor with them anymore, no. That contract is very old. But, you know, they still send me just free ass shows, so. I appreciate them. <clears throat> Home slice pizza. I have not had any pizza since I've been here. Not much at least, so. I don't know. Rent a food truck and make food for content. I would do that, but you need a you need an extensive license to do that. You can't just get a food truck and give people food. You need a fucking you need like a food license, otherwise you're gonna get hit with a huge fine. Which that would be some shit. I got hit with a few deaths. Fine. I mean, I could just set up like a thing on the side of the road, like a table and like, you know, whatever. I've done that before, but that's not a food truck. Opinion on Steve Wozniak dying? Uh, I had no idea that. I don't, I don't know who the fuck that is, homie. They sold your shaker cups for a dollar? Yes, I know that. That was uh, all part of the marketing. <clears throat> yes, code CX. It still works. Hey, use code CX. I get fucking, I don't know, like 10% from that or something. I don't really know. I, yeah, a lot of nature in Canada. We're going to hit up all the nature shit. Make some friends with somebody who owns one and do an event. Yeah, I mean, I could probably go up to a food truck and like see if I could work there for a day or something like we did at the Sweet Tea Place in LA. But, you know, like I said, one day, I don't know. Got to get my mind back in the game. Hey Snoopy, hey, Snoop. why are you sleeping on the floor, Snoopy? Why don't you sleep on the on the couch? Why are you, why are you rather sleep on the floor for? Come on, come on. Why are you looking so weird right now? Why are you looking so weird? Come on. Yeah, whatever, dude. He's fucking not. He's not having this shit. <laughs> My buddy owns a glass blowing food truck in Austin. What the fuck is a glass blowing fruit truck? That sounds interesting, dude. He's growing so fast. I mean, he's the same size that he was when we got him. Like, he hasn't grown at all. It's only been like, what, two weeks since we've had him? So it hasn't been much, maybe three weeks. Oh, look at, he, likes to, he likes to do that. He likes to play bite. Like, I don't know why. Like, why the, why the play biting? Why don't you just lick? I prefer a dog that licks. I don't like a dog that play bites. Like, it's fine. But licking just feels better, you know what I mean? Play biting is, it kind of hurts sometimes. <laughs> Fucking dog, dude. He's not even one year old. So the shelter didn't know how old he was. They think he's one years old, but I don't know. Like... It's hard, like, I can't tell how old he is, and neither could the shelter. They just assumed he's one years old because of his teeth. But he doesn't act like, like, he acts like a fucking puppy. Like a small fucking puppy. He teethes, and he's energetic, and like, I don't know, so. You know, maybe he's a little bit, old. maybe he's a little bit younger than one years old. But that kind of worries me. I don't know how old, or how big he's going to get. Hopefully that's as big as he gets, because I don't want a big ass dog. If this motherfucker ends up being like 200 pounds, I'll be pissed. <laughs> Obviously, that's not going to be the case, but how big are the paws? Let's see. I mean, they're not uh, they are not big. They're pretty small, so I mean, I don't really know how to tell shit. I think, 
think he's uh, you know he's probably like one years old. Because if it was a puppy, he'd be a lot fucking smaller. I feel. You know, he's a dash. He's a dashund. So dashunds don't. You know, don't get big. So and he's like mixed with something like a min pen or like a terrier or some shit. I don't really know. So he's not gonna get that big. Go to the farmer's market on stream. They got a badass park and a legit pub. Yeah, I mean, I, I can do all that one day. I haven't done anything in Austin yet since I've moved here. So besides go to a fucking dog park, so, you know, and uh, get the dog. So, you know, we definitely have time to do stuff. Yeah, he's going to be medium size. That's fine. His birthday is the day that we got him from the shelter because we don't know when he was actually born. So we'll see. Now, this is the one thing I don't like. He loves, he, I've said this before, he loves to just bite my nose. Look at this. Hey, 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 Snoopy. Hey, Snoopy. Take him to get his nails trimmed, you stupid eye dot. Why does he do that? Why does he, like, pretend to bite me when I give him a kiss, dude? Dude, his nails are not long, dude. He's fine. I don't need to cut his fucking nails. Do you hear about the massive indoor dog park they're building? I have not, dude. What, where, when are they going to finish that? That sounds good. They love biting. I know. That's the problem here. I don't like that. You're antagonizing him? No, I'm giving him a kiss. Kissing him. Not antagonizing him. He should just want my kisses and love and love them. Tough love indeed. What's up, Raj Toilet? How you doing, bro? He's just trying to say my nose is big. I mean, maybe. Snippy. I love this fucking dog, dude. I don't know what what I would do without him. To be honest. <laughs> How you been, Raj? Just living it up. They do just kind of do that as long as it's gentle, not a huge deal. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Fuck it, dude. I mean, it doesn't really bother me, so. <clears throat> now, I knew if we got the other one, if we got any sort of big dog, I would, it would, I'd be scared. I'd be scared of the motherfuckers, so. It's going to be impossible to snipe him in Vancouver at such short notice. I mean, Joey, you have <laughs> two days, and then I'm going to be there for probably two or three days. So you have plenty of time to uh, slight me if you live near Vancouver. Although I don't see many people. Uh, and I don't think we have many Canadian viewers here. So I'm curious to see how many people actually do show up. Those who will visit the park have access to more than 50,000 square foot of climbers. Uh, hey, Josh. That is something I need to look into. That seems interesting. Who does Snoopy sleep with? He sleeps with uh, with me and Kim in the bed. I mean, people have been asking me to go to Canada for a while, so maybe I do have a lot of Canadian viewers. So, we'll see. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, man. I don't really know. <clears throat> but, huh. I never really saw Kimberly as a bad person, but if she sees those nails every day and doesn't know those are too long, she's a retard just like you. You need to bring the livery to Canada. I can't watch with this shit phone quality anymore. It saves good quality picture and wide angle automatically make the stream more enjoyable. Yeah, um, yeah, when I travel, I'm going to try and get some Canadian data. So I need to message the unlimited IRL guy. I need to get Canadian data from him to use the live view. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to message him and see if uh, I'm going to ask that, <clears throat> see if he gets me that. I don't think the quality on the phone's that bad though. Like, I don't know, is this quality dog shit right now? I don't think it's bad at all. Like I watched my stream is back and I make sure that the quality isn't dog shit. And it's, the only thing I see is when I switch the cams from front to back, it gets kind of pixely, but now to be fair, it's not as, uh, it's not as good looking as the live view, but you know, it's not dog shit by any means. Yeah, I hope the uh, unlimited IRL guy can hook it up again like he did with Canada because um, 
I don't know how expensive data is in Canada, but I feel like like streaming at all is always expensive as fuck. You know, I remember when I went to Europe, I would spend one hundred and fifty dollars a day in in uh, in data in like get, you know twenty gigs a day or something, It'd be like one hundred fifty bucks. So I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> And then I, that's for one SIM card. If I get the live view, I'll need four SIM cards. That's, yeah. I think there was a time when I went to England, I spent $300 a day in data. So that was dog shit. <laughs> we'll see. It's expensive out there. Oh, man. Well, we're going to have to, uh, well, we'll see then. Hopefully we get some, uh, some, some good data from them. Unlimited IRL, dude. I don't know. But, uh, alright y'all. Listen, thank you guys for chilling with me today. I appreciate that. Tomorrow I'll do some gaming or some shit. I don't really know. I'll do, I'll do some. And then Wednesday, I'll be in Canada. Wednesday's the start of the 24-7 stream. Start from ending at... I don't really know when the fuck's gonna end. Eh, it'll just keep going until I fucking feel like it's gonna end. I don't really know. I'm not doing much until... I go to fun Canada anyways on Wednesday. So, hey, if Gary's live, hit him up. Mods, post the shit in the chat if he's live. I don't really know. Check him out. He's a good dude. And, you know, he can talk about Canada with y'all. And, yeah, I don't know. Wednesday. Okay, what time? I mean, I'll, I'll tweet the time. But it's going to be early in the morning. Um, so I fly there early in the morning. And then I fucking land. And then I'll probably start at like 2 p.m. or something. So keep an eye out for that. I'll tweet it. So... Love you guys. Peace out and see you later. Let me, hold on. Let me get Gary's thing and let me just post his link in the chat here just in case a moderator does not do that. So you guys can see who I'm talking about if you don't know Gary, which I don't know how you wouldn't know Gary, but maybe not everyone knows. Let me see here. Share. Copy. All right, right here. All right, here's his link. Check him out, y'all. He's a good dude. All right, later, dudes. <laughs>